I'm in the historical center of Villa Hermosa, the capital city of the Tabasco province. Arrived here yesterday by bus from uh, Kalaknul and this is a historical quarter called loose tourist area because it's very nice, nice buildings and atmosphere. I will stay here a few days. The climate is tropical, it's at a river, so it's very humid, very hot. I made some recordings this morning of the Plaza de Armas, it's uh, in this way. nice to walk around just to walk around and take in the atmosphere of a provincial city in Mexico this year is the major pedestrian street with all the shops and uh, there are no cars which is very pleasant to walk I'm heading towards the Plaza de Armas again. Now the sun is out. This morning it was very dark. There was no sun. The sky was cloudy. Here is the Museum of the History of Tabasco, the province of Daimien. La Hermosa is the capital of. It's a very nice ancient building. Maybe some other day I will have a look inside. At this point, I am still walking and trying to find my way around. The river is on my left. 
front of me is the Plaza de Armas. This is the uh, interior of the bridge. It smells very much like pee, so I won't go inside here. And there's nobody on the platform. Some kind of uh, outlook, I don't know, but it doesn't look stable enough. There's one glass fence missing, so I wouldn't want to go up there. Anyway. And this is the river. It's a typical jungle river, so you ha don't have access. It's uh, grown over from all sides, and uh, it's brown. It's not clear water. It must be quite an important city in Mexico, one of the larger ones. Definitely bigger than Cancun, or any of the other cities I've visited uh, so far, except Mexico City, of course, is the biggest one of them all which is not so far away, but I will be heading for the coast, the Pacific coast now, from here on. Here is the name, Plaza de Armas. That's where I am. Plaza de Armas of Villa Hermosa. Right. This is another plaza before the Plaza de Armas or part of it. Um, it's on my left side. There's a large government building, which is also very nice. It's a, in the style of this kind of colonial style architecture. It's very pretty. That's the one. Really nice, these old buildings, and there are many of them here. I'm in this quarter, it's used again. And here is the back of the Plaza de Arma.
And besides the buildings, there are also very nice trees, very old, the mangroves. And I saw there in the background a uh, cathedral further, further down. So it's quite widespread. I'm just in the historical center. There are other areas, other quarters. Here's another one of those amazing old buildings. Painted in this uh, color, this red brown. The shops, the shopping experience is very Americanized. Of Walmart and all these uh, American chains here, or copies of them. I'm now in this park, uh, La Venta, which uh, was advertised as some sort of open-air museum with all Mac items. I haven't seen any except uh, the entrance, this copy of this head, and there are monkeys. Hello, monkey. There is a large aviary here. Here is a map. So there are kind of uh, things from the Olmex. It's only the question how to get there. That's very interesting. I was told that I have to follow these footsteps. These are made to follow 
uh, to see the park. <laughs> I've never seen this before. It's very interesting. So no signs this time, but footsteps. Red ones. Okay, this is what I know so far. There's a location uh, 120 kilometers from here called La Venta. It was a major site from the Olmecs. And they either copied or transferred the items from there, some items, not all of them, uh, to here, to, into this park. So uh, you can see it here, basically. This is a throne stone. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, excuse me, could you use the mask, please? Oh, uh, yes. And here is a stele. It looks like a copy, or at least partially, they reconstructed it. Middle pre-classic, 700 to 400 BC, very old. And they really bother you with the masks here. It's really ridiculous. Basalt columns. And one of these heads. Pre-classic. 400, 700 to 400 BC stone basalt. So it's very washed up and very old. All these tourist places they're kind of nervous maybe because of covid maybe it's uh, but the general uh, way they treat people not nicely another one of those very impressive stones and i follow the red footsteps okay the olmecs apparently lived in this time period between 700 and 400 we see somewhere around this area. That's what we know. Probably all we need to know.
I'm now uh, walking along the Laguna here. It's a walking path. There's another park a little further down. And I take the circle back into the city from here. Yeah, this park uh, museum it was not uh, very convincing. Uh, the stones were oh, quite washed out. Basalt doesn't last that long, more than 2000 years. But uh, this here is a really nice walk. Under the trees, in the shadow, this is the park there, just separated by this fence. If I understand this right, it's the viewpoint of the eagles. Whatever that means, but it's locked. So here is still part of the park. I'm basically surrounding it on this path along the water. Ah, there's more of this construction So I'm going up there This is just a bridge a pedestrian bridge across this part of the water. You could have just as well walk down there. So it's <laughs> not really a shortcut. Wonder why they built this thing. Interesting. And uh, it continues. Actually there's a connection between here and it goes straight through more structures over there. And here is a map that shows what it is. It's apparently one straight line here. Line. This might be some kind of a congress center. There's a conference or something going on here. And it's a huge modern building, looks like offices or maybe a hotel. This is the view from the other side. This is another one of those names of these places they built, whatever it means. There are tons of animals and they're worn from crocodiles in here. There's a museum up there, elevated museum of Ulaha Musa. I've had enough of museums here today. That's another interesting structure here. There is a cathedral there. You can see the two towers. I'm approaching this park where I was yesterday. I can see the 
large mangrove tree.